the biggest life-changing thing I have learned after day two of this program is to put myself first. It's been a revelation thinking that I don't need to do guilt for taking time out for me and doing things for me that I do matter. It's about being present with my children and doing what really matters rather than doing what I think is expected of me. I was so busy servicing everyone else that I was dying a slow death and I've come to realise that and that's been life changing. Here I am 40 years old, 40 plus and I thought this is, I've worked this out for the first time <laughs> and how wonderful is the rest of my life going to be that I'm going to do things differently. I had a child and I was a you know, happy mother with that child till my child didn't seem to be developing according to uh, the milestones that he was supposed to be having. And uh, lo and behold, I get hit with your child, he has autism. And my whole world crumbled. And I had nothing inside to help me with the crumbling that I was feeling. And it was like the exposure of everything come, came flooding out, the fear, guilt, all these things that I was carrying and hiding in a bag that no one could see. We went through a mourning period, the two of us, my husband and I, of six, probably six months, thinking what do we do with this situation and how do we make a positive out of this seemingly hopeless situation that every, every doctor was telling us. My husband went to a conference and met this inspirational mother that had done a sunrise program at the Option Institute and told us about these wonderful programs that you could help, that could help you with yourself and that can help you with your child. I became totally engrossed with running a sunrise program, but um, although I was totally engrossed and happy doing that. I found that I was, I didn't have the fuel to keep going with that. From the moment I woke up to the, the time I went to bed, I would do everything for everyone else. I would look after the children's needs, my husband needs, my household. I would make sure that the house was in perfect running order because I wanted to be a perfect wife, mother, and every other label that you could place on, on a female. And although my son was progressing wonderfully well on his Sunrise program, we needed more of the, the philosophy that went behind the Op Option Institute. And I knew from my program it wasn't about my son anymore. It was about my journey and facing myself. When I started asking myself the question, why aren't I happy? I started unravelling because I feel guilt if I take time out. I have, I have these images of what a woman should be and what a mother should be and, and I needed to sort of address those images and think what do I want to wear every day? Do I want those and how do I nurture myself? So I thought going to Exceptional Woman was right for me. The biggest life-changing thing I have learned after day two of this program is to put myself first. It doesn't matter if I don't get through the, twen the 20 things on the list. It's about being present with my children and doing what really matters rather than doing what I think is expected of me. And those expectations really I've placed on myself. It's been a revelation thinking that I don't need to do guilt for taking time out for me and doing things for me that I do matter. I was so busy servicing everyone else that I was dying a slow death and I've come to realise that and that's been life changing as to why I wasn't happy. It's because I'm dying inside. I've, And now it's time for me to re resurrect myself from the dead <laughs> and come, become alive and happy again. Here I am, 40 years old. 40 plus and I thought this is I've worked this out for the first time <laughs> and how wonderful is the rest of my life going to be that I'm going to do things differently.